I can I have one test and I got a skill and got a skill all the time. My name is Elmer Jail Spirit Divine. I'm here to give you a show news on tonight. Um, so we're gonna start with um three people was killed by LAPD. You know, uh in two days. In two days, you know, concern over the police killing in Los Angeles the best uh um uh, intensified. You know, so with the history of racism. You know, in the police brutally brutalized in the Los Angeles Police Department. This year is starting with an alarming threat. threat. Now, this year just started. You know, better know we had killing New York New Year Eve. You know, and it's and it's still arising. And it's not stopping. You know, um, three have died in two days. You know, Terrell Smith was killed on January January. The second, you know, Los Angeles uh, Police Department officer fired a shot. Chico Smith, who they allegedly had thought he had a knife, you know, but um, Oscar Shetas, you know, um, an English teacher, you know, um, he he was killed because they they say he was threatened with a metal rod, you know. So um, then we had. Um, Kenya Anderson, you know, both died. You know, both of these two people had died on January the third. You know, and they um he was killed because um he was killed. He was killed because uh, they tased him multiple times. You know, why he was handcuffed, why he was uh down on the ground. You know, so, uh, so Anderson, Mr. Anderson was tased to death. You know, uh, Chief of the uh, LAPD, Michael Moore, made this state following, you know, uh, attack in the police related deaths. You know, so you got three deaths related in like in three, in two, in two days. You know, so these, um, this event, you know, wild miles apart, deeply concerning, you know. His commitment to the family is not just a condolence, you know, but though it's his commitment to ensure the greatest transparency as possible, as much as the law allows to include the details of the investigation, you know, as well as the finding and my recommendation eventually regarding the action of our people. You know, new mayor, Cameron Ambrass, is also raising her concern with this um, public statement. We must reduce the use of force overall, and I have absolutely no tolerance, you know, for exercising force, you know, and I agree with her with that statement. You know, we have too many um, black African Americans getting killed, you know, by um, the police with with uh, extreme force, you know, face down on the floor, with their neck, you know, or their feet in their chest, or tase, not their tasing, you know, um, this, um, kind of force, you know, um, tagging someone to death, you know, choking someone, all that have to come to an end, there is no tolerance of, of that kind of force to someone to death. <coughs> Excuse me. Not all three deaths, you know, are under investigation. All three deaths under investigation. You had two of them was the same day. And then you had the one um day before. You know, retired LAPD sergeant Sherry Dawson. Now this happened over twenty four hours between January the second to January the third. Police officer with Los Angeles Police Department was involved in three separate use of force incident that left three men dead. <coughs> now, you have three incidents. They're dead because of the force of the police. <coughs> Brutalizing, chasing, you know, <coughs> what caused their death. <coughs> Excuse me. LAPD um, Michael Moore to release, you know, a celebrity edit body cameras footage on Wednesday. You know, so they had a body cam. You know, all these police have body cameras on them. 
but some kind of way it said <coughs> selected at it. <coughs> While the next part of the footage is added, the tape that were released, you know, show Anderson repeatedly apologizing, you know, to and being extremely incorporated with the police. So they was not, they was not um, trying to run away or, or trying not to cooperate with the people. The camera showed that he was apologizing and he was doing everything the police were telling him to do. But they still were brutalizing him and tasting him and still had him pinned down like he was refusing. But the camera showed that he was not refusing. He was cooperating with the police. Oh. Um, so after roughly eight minutes, you know, Anderson eventually stand up and tell the cops he needs some water. Anderson walk away. You know, so as soon as the motorcycle cop catches up with Anderson, he yells at him to get down on the ground now. You know, so the ground now, which Anderson did, put his hands, you know, behind his head. You know, and while saying, yes, sir, yes, sir. So he was very polite. You know, very, very polite. Wasn't even trying to run. Wasn't even trying to fight back. You know, but they still had him handcuffed. And kept chasing him over and over. So as one of the cops continued to yell at Anderson. To turn over, you know, on his stomach. Two other cops arrived. And each one grabbed Anderson. You know, by the arm, in five seconds, you know, all three cops grab Anderson and force him um, onto the pavement. Now, this is someone was not even trying to fight back, was even trying to uh, to to run or do none of that, you know. But they started grabbing him and forcing him with with false label and just brutalizing him and, and pin him down. To, uh, to the pavement while his hands are still behind his back. You know, so the tape show Anderson screaming in distress. You know, as the police wrestle, you know, him down, help. You know, uh, he calling out for help and they are trying to kill me. That's what he was saying. He said, help. You know, they are trying to kill me. So we see that he is crying out for help for the police to stop. You know, now they keep saying he have mental distress. That don't mean if someone has mental or uh, health problems for, for you to brutalize them to their death. You know, what they should have did, when they realized he had mental health, they should have called a trainer. Someone for special trains to come and, and, and give him some help. You know, that would have saved his life. He would have been still here today. You, you know, so uh, as the police continue to grab with him, uh, Curtis twisted, twisting his arm, you know, while applying pressure to his neck and his chest, you know, with their knees and elbow, Anderson yelled, these are actors, you know, and in response to Anderson, crying, wanted the cop threaten Anderson that he is going to taste him if he continued to resist. So he, he was saying that he not resisting. You know, there's everything he's saying, they was twisting it around just to keep brutalizing him and saying they're going to taste him if he don't be quiet. You know, so at this point, there are three police pinning Anderson down, including, you know, so as the police continue to wrestle, and suffocate him. Anderson, please. He said, please, please. You know, one cop responded, all right, um, I'm about to tell you something. Cause we told him to be quiet. You know, so in less than a minute, Anderson was taste by one of the cops at least four times. So they didn't taste him one time. They did it four times. You know, for roughly 33 seconds. You know, the first time the cop deployed the taser that he shot, the metal sprung, you know, at Anderson, sending 50,000 volts through the wire into his skin. You know, so that's powerful stuff that they went through his skin. 
so the cops didn't press the taser directly against Anderson's back to the left of his spinal cord, roughly where his heart would be um, located. So the cop held the trigger while pressing the taser against Anderson's back for approximately uh, 12 seconds. You know, sending painful electronic shots into the screaming man. He just was screaming for help. Just imagine that pain, you know, going all through his body. They taste him over and over and over with his hand behind his back. Anderson yelled, help me. I am not resisting. So he started saying he's not resisting, but they still was tasting him over and over. And had still had his hands behind his back. You know, he started saying, I'm not resisting. You know, he wanted, he was crying out for help for them to stop. You know, you know, but if he had missed the help, he wondering why is y'all started realizing me when I keep on saying I'm not resisting. You know, he wanted them to stop. You know, of calling to the police after a few minutes, you know, the fire department and the ambulance arrived. You know, and Anderson was placed in a wheelchair. They had to brutalize him so much, he couldn't even stand up no more. So by the time, they, time the ambulance came, they had to put him in a wheelchair. Before being tra transported to a local hospital, he suffered a cardiac arrest while at the hospital and he died. You know, he died. You know, if, if he, uh, if they realized, you know, he had mental health. They were supposed to call someone to help with this kind of case, you know, and they could have sent him to a social worker to get him some help, you know, but they decided to keep brutalizing him and tasting him, you know, that could have been a life, could have been saved, you know, so, uh, the cops claim that, uh, they ran tests, um, by the LAPD. Signs, blood example, I tame. Anderson tested, tested positive for cocaine in his system. You know, so what they had to do with what they stopping brutalizing him for. You know, so uh, all of this, you know, so uh, we see the deaths of three men involved in separate, separate encounter with the LAPD release a body cam video you know so one officer failed to call a special train for mental health team during the inter interaction um, with a man in crisis you know they were supposed to call help you know for somebody saying i'm you know talking the way he was doing you know kept on apologizing and all that they could have called oh uh, some help for him you know that could have been a life safe you know so when they noticed that he had mental issues, and if they would have called help, his life would have been saved. You know, um, four, three died in two days. You know, um, Taco Smith, you know, they thought he had a knife. Asha Chantez, you know, they thought he had a, a metal rod, you know, so they feel like their life was drained. Kenya Anderson chased him so many times pin him down, time they got to the um, hospital with him, he died from being brutalized and taste so many times, you know, so you really have to stop tasting someone, especially, you know, tasting them all the way to their death, you know, tasting someone is rare, you know, and someone crying out for help, you're supposed to stop. You know, so when someone is in your custody and you realize they have mental health, call a special team, you know, to help them. Never take it on yourself and brutalize someone, pinning them down, tasing them the way they did all the way to his death. You know, alive, you know, um, a life couldn't, um, a life could have been saved. You know, a life could have been saved. If they would have called for help. You know, so I request no tasting no one, no false labor to death, you know, brutalizing, 
you know, putting your, your leg in, in the neck and the chest, all that have to stop because so many people alive is getting taken for being brutalized, you know, uh, by police. You know, so uh, it, it has to be other ways to deal with certain situations, especially you dealing with uh, mental health. You know, they don't know what they're doing. Some of them don't know what they're saying. You know, so you have to be careful when you're dealing with special um, um, people that you have to call for help, not brutalize them. Because you brutalize them, they got mental health. They, they want to know what they did. Because, you know, they like a child all over again, asking questions. You know, they're crying out for help. You know, and you still refuse to stop. You know, so second, mental health in the police care. You know, call for special training. You know, I'll call a social worker, someone to help. Um, um, in a in a time like this, here. you know, you took it on yourself to chase him all the way to his death. The time he got to the hospital, he was dead, and that could have been a life saved if the owner would have called for help. No three. You know, you had Miss Um. You had Miss Um had um made a statement, you know, about forcing labor, by forcing brutalizing and chasing someone. You know, she said she don't tolerate. You know, and I say, uh, I say I agree. You know, no force overall, you know, that will lead to someone's death. You know, and it's heartbreaking when we see the video and then when they crying out for help. But you refuse to stop. You know, so folks, folks, um, um, brutalizing and, and, and tasting and, um, someone like to death. You know, there have to be other ways, you know, for you to chastise someone when you're trying to have them in custody. You know, so, um, tasting someone is real. You know, you're supposed to use it one time. Y'all use it full time and more than that afterwards. You know, you use it so many times on Anderson. Just the time he got to the hospital, you know, he died. You know, because you put so much power, about 50,000 uh, 50, volts on that machine that went all through his body. You know, so y'all have to come up with other ways to test size someone when you have them in your custody. You know, forcing that kind of labor have to stop. You know, mental, you're dealing with mental health. You know, if you have to call a social worker, you have to call somebody that's trained to deal with special uh, issues like this here. You, you know, so uh, that's all the news I have for you today. You know, that three people were killed in two days. You know, being brutalized to their death. You know, um, taking someone is, is rare. You know, you cannot use that multiple times like that. You can't put that kind of power on that machine, you, you know, that will go all through their body, all through their spinal cord, you know. So, uh, that's all the word I have for you all today. All the news I have for you all today. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a blessed, safe night.